mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Take you to the book of John 10, verse 22. John 10, verse 22. Remember that God can do nothing without his word. Prayer without the word of God, you are talking to the air. We are the word, we came from the word. He is the word and he is in the word. 22, then he came to the festival of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, 23, and Jesus was in the temple courts, walking in Solomon's colonnade, 24. The Jews who were there gathered around him and saying, how long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, Tell us plainly, 25, Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my father's name testify about me. 26, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. 27, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. 28, I give them eternal life and they shall never be perished. No one will snatch them out of my father's hands. 29, my father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hands. That I and the father are one. Tell your neighbor, say, no one can step you, I mean stop you. Say no one can stop you. Yes. When I say no one can stop you, I want to take you to this journey of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you look at his journey from the one until the last day, Jesus was always facing strong opponent. They were trying by all means to stop him, not to become what he was sent for. No one can stop you to become what God's might want you to become. No one can stop you to become a lawyer. No one can stop you to become a teacher, a prophet of God, a great businessman, no one can do that. They tried by all means to limit this man, but they could not manage because God Almighty is all. He was walking in that temple court. A group of Jews followed him. Tell us, if you are a messiah, Tell us so that we know. Jesus said, I have told you, but you do not believe. He continues to say, the works that I do in my father's name testify about me. In short, he was telling them that no one can do what I am doing if it is not God Almighty who is involved. The works that I have done, meaning the miracles that I've performed. But they could not believe in him. Are you there, people of God? Jesus said, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. What does it mean to you and me? You are not going to be like Jesus. 
Jesus said, my sheep, listen to my voice. I know them, they know me. Meaning, the only one who knows you is God Almighty. You hear his voice. You know him and he knows you. As long as you hear from above, whatever you are hearing here, they are just making noise. No one can stop you to reach that level. No one can stop you to be a great woman. No one can stop you to be a mother. Because the one behind you is greater than Oh. Are you there? I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hands. Meaning nothing that can happen to you by accident if it is not the will of God. Except if you stand outside Jesus, you are on your own. He never rejected his father. Even where people are insulting him, he will treat him, calling names. He will never say, but father, why did you allow these people to come in this name? Show them your power so that they could see that you sent me. He never, never said that. He knew that I'm in contact with my father. When you are walking towards your success, you will not mind what you are facing and what people are saying. Because the one who's pushing you to that success is greater than your enemy. His mission was more powerful than the mission of the enemy of salvation. I want to remind you, these people of God, that no matter what you are going through, no one can stop you. You are destined to be whom God wants you to be. It doesn't matter at what age. It doesn't matter. To him, age does not matter. What matters to him is to fulfill his purpose in your life. As long as he can fulfill his purpose in your life, that's it. No one, stop, you know, uh, pointing fingers to do so. No, once you know you are in Jesus and Jesus is in you, you are unstoppable. This is my simple title I want to introduce you that no one can stop you. No one can do that. No, you can't stop me. You can't stop me. They cannot stop you. Until you become what God Almighty wants you to become. Whether they are using sickness, disease, poverty, rejection, confusion, it's just a radar. They are just pushing you very close to your father. But if you pay attention to what you are going through, your situation becomes your master. And they will be able to limit you and stop you. But with Jesus on your side, no one can stop you. They could not stop this man. They tried by all means. You know, they had power. They had power to kill him instantly in the public. But the power of God could not allow them, not even to lay hands on him. He can talk in the public. He can challenge them in the public. You are challenging the authority. The authority that has all the powers, the weapons. He was walking freely. Each and every time they see Jesus, people start whispering, this is the man the authorities are talking about. But this year, does it mean they are now believed that he's the Messiah? Look at the man. This is the man. He'll be walking there. And yet, the leaders were busy talking about this man, how to go about this, how to eliminate him, how to bring him down. A single individual, you can, can you fail to kill that person? No. Because the Bible says that God Almighty is all. Listen to this. Where? Mm -hmm. This is 26. I mean 29. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. He is greater than any authority. That's why here on earth we change what? 
Here on earth, we change what? Government. Today it is Mulenga who is there. Tomorrow it's going to be Mutale. The other day is going to be Nyelenda. The other week is going to be Peter. But in heaven, it is only Che over Shama. Che over Yahweh. The only one of the Israel. The everlasting God. No one can, you know, occupy that seat. No one. No one can stop you. If, you know, God, you know, designed you to be a businessman, you'll be a great businessman. I'm telling you. You want to be a teacher, a lawyer. Sickness would come. Anything would come, but the power of God is at work against their mission to support your destiny. Until you become that a man or that a woman. So stop confessing defeat. Stop blaming witches and wizards. They are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. With Jesus inside you, they are nothing. They are scared of you. Marishwa tindo shira tina muli amaka ya kualesa. Ichwa tashitina fe mumbidi. I send fire. Makona zionse. Monso mumu lefu mina. Na vika mumu lefu. Ota mkwete. Fida mwa vika mumu kwete. Teti mwanda tina vika mumu lefu ota mwa kwata. Nga mwala la mwasabu. Fish na rufi anya. Ah, mweba chukwa to mumu lefu. Simply means you don't know what you are talking about. Jesus knew who he was. He knew what was behind him. He knew who was backing his His journey. When you stand like this as a child of God, whether I hear you talking about me that we are going to kill Mlenga, I will ask my father, is it true that they will kill me? He said, no, they will not. They will start fighting within themselves. So don't mind them. Ah, I'll be happy. But if I cannot hear from my father and I hear you talking about me, I'm finished. That is the biggest problem we have. No one can stop you. Take this word. No one can do it. No one can. They are lying. They are what? They are lying. Is it Jesus who is saying, saying that you will not reach there? No. It is their evil scheme. No one can stop you. No one can stop me. I am walking towards my what? Success. You too, you are walking towards your what? Mm-hmm. So are you telling me that ingana ukwatia film TV so much ba fro konka balwani? Kuku konka. Busho wa nare kila kwatia ni musende. Awe fiandi. Fiandi. So I want you to go home with this word that no one can stop you because God has a mission in your life. And that mission has to be fulfilled before you leave this world. So whoever is against you or fighting you, they are fighting God. They are challenging him that you are nothing. We can bring you down, which is not possible. No one can do it. I give you that example. You remember the Jesus, you know, when he said, They carried him. Uncountable people, he just turn and face them. Aprana pakati. Washala na abe mini na manu ya chitashani. Nanu wabapuisha maka. Tuwa kontrolo lecha kupanga. Ah. Teti. No one can stop you. Eh. Balamutina. Awe. Eh. Ninji shiwa. Eh. Nachiba lota. Ninji shumba lotel. Eh. Fibu. Kwa zi muenda pa mopene. Nga ndenda muni yesu. Eh. Noti ukuba lota. Kuba mona. Naba seka na ukuba seka. Mulefu wa enshi. Hawa na chila pita kani mwale kio kwendo mungu. Nwati vimu isa mkubuka. Hey, mwale isa. Chishina ala fila ba na bachidi haba nono. That is not the issue. The issue is your personal relationship with Jesus. As long as Jesus is involved, no one can stop you. Thank you. God bless you.